I just play rugby the rest of my life and have a good time. So, and believe me, the little girls that he goes out with are not little girls, they're her size. But when you're when you're like this, they're all little. So uh, he's very disappointed because it was going to be his first time to meet her. Oh, I know. Oh, they were really planning to have a good time. So basically, they they they're okay. Two of them are in. They're two of the two. Of the twins are like twenty. I think they're twenty-four, and they they're overgrown little children. They're overgrown little children. In the fact, they they're banned from life. You know, here's the thing. They are banned from life from ever using the telephone system. I know. Because when they were little, they gave everybody free use of the cell, of cell phones all over the place. Because they're smart little kidders. Oh yeah. So they've been forever banned. They cannot even come up near a telephone or a cell phone. If they find them within X amount of foot, they can be arrested. Because it takes no effort for them to, uh, to break the system. Every, this is, every god awful kid in the universe can sit there and hack into things. They started hacking when they were eight years old. Mm -hmm. these, these little monsters were in college when they were 11. Are you serious? Yeah. They've been bums oh. for a long time. They helped them run an Olympic Games for, for one of the one of the people in Europe, I think what there was that they were 17 years old and in charge of all of the uh, technical equipment for the Olympic Games for the country. Except for the telephones. <laughs> yeah. they, had, they actually had to have, they hired a guard to keep them away from the telephone system. <laughs> And actually, that's, that's one of the key points in hiring them. They're like, what? You're banned from... Okay, you're probably really smart. We'll let you do it. <laughs> yeah, no, but they could... Uh, basically, it was a total glitch-free Olympics for the country that they were working for because of the fact that they they don't think twice. I mean, if they don't even think. They just... It's sort of like... I mean, they don't understand how I can play. I play with computers more than they do. I mean, I can... I can... They like could say, actually, they probably got it from me, but I didn't teach them. I just have a natural ability to get into things. Well, they do too, obviously. Yeah, which they, you know, they blame. I, I, I've been blamed much for teaching. I had nothing to do with that. I kept them away from computers and stuff because they're just like my youngest. My youngest were sat there. We go, we go to one of the computer. You know, we go to one of the old computer stores and. And she'd be in my arms, and she'd say, Dad, Dad, and then she'd go. And then, at first what would happen is she'd start to go like that, and they'd tell her no. And then the guy said, oh, she's, she's so cute, you know, she can't hurt anything. And then, da da. and then, what the hell does she just do? And the guy's trying to, she, she'd turn things up, you know, she'd take the, everything and twist it around just by pushing things on it. You know, touch screens were not a good thing with her in those days, but, uh, and then I'd sit there, I'd put it back. The way it was, and mad, and she go, <laughs> yeah. And what happened was, um, um, I lost her. You know, she basically lost her mother. So she sat in my lap from the day I brought her home from the hospital. And I'm sitting there working on the computer. The little stink pot learned how to work the computer, and I couldn't. I, I totally could not leave her in her baby chair next to the computer. Well, here's how it was. I I get off the computer and I move her chair back from the computer to keep her away from it because I would come in and she changed my screen on me. She not like picture. <laughs> and the picture was not on this computer. Where did you get it? I find. <laughs> yeah, I find. Where? <laughs> no. I mean, I, she, she messed with my computer so many times. She messed with my printer. She messed with the video equipment. You know, I sat there and my mother would grow up. I don't know how to make the, the how to get the, you know, they, uh, because we had a satellite system because around the country I can't figure out how to make it work. It should be like this. I fix. Dare. And then she <laughs> really? Went, and then, but it would be what she wanted to see. You know, Wizard Oz. <laughs> and my mother would watch something else. She, she'd say, Wizard of Oz. And my mother would say, I didn't want to watch that. She said, Me fix you not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mother was, my mother, my mother was not, I mean, you know, this before my mother, before my mother, you know, went, you know, left me, she was very happy with the fact that I was going to teach her how to actually get on a computer. She could not, she could not use a computer, totally could not use a computer. She was, you know, we had old-fashioned typewriter and all this stuff that you basically use the whole world business. 
but the computer, she couldn't figure the keyboard out. And I, I sat there, and basically I sat there and play with the keyboard all. I sat there when I'm not doing things and play with the keyboard. You know, and she said, that's all you got to do. It's just the same thing as, as um, I learned cinematography from uh, one of the cinematographers that worked on the Ten Commandments. No, not the original C.C. Mill, the version, the 1955 version. And he said, you know, his job when he went to college was, she actually really ran into people at one event that knew him, everybody knew, and he was a really big shot. Uh, he'd give us a thing and he'd give us a camera and he'd not tell us how to use it. He said, put the film in, push the trigger and come back to me when you've shot the film. He said, that's how you learn to do something, you push the trigger. And that's how you learn to work with a computer. You can't learn to work with a computer by looking at it. You gotta turn the thing on and then bitch about the fact that it doesn't look right, which is what she does every time she does it. So, so. I know, I don't know how it does that. Of course, part of it is, here are some words that are not uncommon for me, which is uh, from service personnel. You know, we've never had that problem before. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. How did you do that? Did you drop this computer? You know, no. Well, we, we, we actually, we have, you know, we've been, she's been accused of breaking and dropping the things. No. Uh, she'll have a camera lens and the screw will fall out of the camera lens. It's like, no, it's, it's just the way it is. She'll take the camera, she took the computer in and it came back, you know, and they give it back to her and the computer Basically, we're well, I had to go back in. Now, part of it is that they did replace on the computer the monitor, the fan, the battery, and what else? There was one of the hard drive. Hard drive. All of them on the thing. All of them were done. It came back, and the case wasn't fitting right. There was a gap in the case. I know. But don't worry, it wouldn't load programming. App, you know, she's very proud of the camera. Okay, I'm going to try to explain something. We won't tell you who did it. But they lied to us about the thing. Oh, what? They, they can't, they're not sending the stuff out. Do well, we'll put it this way. You cannot get one day delivery from tech, from Tennessee. For you know, what? Uh, uh, you know, we got the camp, we got the case back. And basically, I'm, there's my wild guess, oh. that the stores now are outsourcing the repair work to local people because they did not have um, a, a recovery disc. They did not have a disc to put the, you know, all they had to do was just stick something in and it turns the operating system back on again. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that. And see, if they didn't have it, it meant it really, let's put it this way, how many of your sets are being worked on by unauthorized, authorized people? I don't know. You know, like, six, ten, um, um, give me an example. I know uh, a woman that does special effects, and she works for a company that basically folded because of the fact that she said, you know, they got kids, 14-year-old kids in high school that have bigger equipment than we're using and are turning out the same effects. You know, they're, you know, they're giving them some, they're giving them a hamburger or a McDonald's and a milkshake and they're turning out the effects, so why do they want us? Mm -hmm. And she said flat out, said my husband, I'm going to have to start turning out porn films because we got kids to support. Because mm -hmm. she really, really, really looked great, so. But, uh, but that's it. Um, their, uh, the service policy, you know, you know, you're, you can virtually every piece of technical equipment that you have in a, in a from a department store, from a plant store, are all being served by government employees. I know. Yeah, they say, well, what do you mean? We we pay for a policy that's being done. Well, no, the policies are owned by A, I, G, which is owned by the United States government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're the company that handles those things. Which may explain why it's having problems. Yeah. Because they were having problems. I mean, they were quick to put all that other stuff in. Oh yeah. But then they have to make sure it works. After they couldn't. They it. didn't make sure it worked because they didn't have a disc to turn the thing on with. I mean, you should have an operating. Every every repair place is supposed to have an operating system in the place. You know, it's not like they got. What they got like a wind. You no, know, how many window systems they got to have? Not a lot. You know. And it's not the whole operating system. It's just it's the main system that you need to boot the computer up. Is all they got to have, mm -hmm. which is basically you could probably put every operating system ever created on one DVD, and you just put it in. You know, and you bring up the operating system you want, 
it then turns the thing on. You yeah, see, because they said they've got the disc to start the. I'm like, well, what in the world? I'm like, well, we'll try and redo that. Well, that's the, that's the store itself has the disc. Mm -hmm. But you can't run the test without the test disc. And that's basically, it just puts a telltale image of the operating system on it. So you can turn it on to run everything. They never ran it. They actually had no no, uh, no way of knowing if it, it actually was dead. Yeah. It, I mean, because it had a new hard drive in it. And so since it didn't have the restore disc, which yeah. Those other ones. They said, well, you either have to bring your restore disk in or you have to order them. I'm like, well, what? You didn't tell me. That's right. So, you shouldn't have had to do it because you, it's a simple matter. I ain't got. I can sit there and do it. I mean, uh, you, all you, it is, you have, you can't, a computer has to run through X amount of tests to see if it functions right. If you basically, you got to have that disk for every operating system, which basically, like I said, you know, uh, say, uh, a uh, disk is uh, like this is. We're going to say this is a, 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 a DVD or a CD, whatever they're using. That right down there at the very bottom, maybe a finger width, is is one operating system, one test system. And then you just keep filling it up with test systems for mm -hmm. like. There's only there. They don't even manufacture MEs anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. You won't, you won't even repair a system of an operating system that can't be upgraded. You can't find those things. Try finding an XP out there. Yeah. When we, we took the uh, operating system off of one of my computers and put an XP on it because of the fact that the XP was more compatible with the software we had. It won't work with any of the new software, but basically it means all my old software, which I really like, I have on it. But um, but she has, you know... <laughs>